Hello, my name is Jacqueline Burke and I'm fixing to share my screen with you. My name is Jacqueline Burke, owner of Burke's Boutique, and today I'm presenting to you my marketing strategy assignment. A marketing strategy summary is a long-term, forward-looking approach and an overall game plan of any organization or any business with the fundamental goal of achieving a sustainable competitive advantage by understanding the needs and wants of customers. Consumers can be segmented in various dimensions, such as product uses and, dem and demographics, Demographics include age, gender, family structure, social class or income, race, geography, and lifestyles. In order to understand the consumer's needs and wants, there are critical elements that must be addressed in a marketing strategy. The elements include segmentation, targeting and positioning, promotional tactics, monitoring and evaluation, and the marketing plan. Market segmentation is the process of dividing a market potential customers into groups or segments based on different characteristics. Targeted positioning is the process of targeting a consumer by doing research, then the involvement of strategies and projects that the company initiates to communicate a brand to the target market. Promotional tactics include promotion strategies that will get your product noticed like using social media or personalized email marketing. Monitoring and evaluation is essential to assess the performance of business projects and plans to influence future decisions. Lastly, the marketing plan is part of an overall business plan. A marketing strategy is the foundation of a well-written marketing plan so that goals may be achieved. Burke's Boutique's products. Boutiques sell fashionable clothes and accessories and they are style educators. At Burke's Boutique, the clothes have a unique style with exclusive prints and fabrics. Our clothes range from sizes small to large. The prints include leopard, cheetah, snake, polka dot, stripes, chevron, floral, and much more. The fabrics include silk, satin, cashmere, flannel, and cotton. We have new shipments of clothes and accessories each season. During the hot summer months, we typically sell shorts, sleeveless shirts, short dresses and rompers, sandals and wedges. In the summer, the clothes are vibrant. The colors range from hot pink, yellow, bright green, cyan, magenta, etc. During the cooler months, we sell pants, long sleeve shirts, sweaters, sweater dresses, jumpers, boots, and booties. The fall and winter clothes are autumn colors. The colors range from emerald, ruby, orange, red, purple, and brown. In addition to our clothing, we sell accessories. Accessories may include belts, hats, and jewelry. We have a range of small and thick belts that buckle. Our hats range from baseball caps, straw hats, floppy hats, and fedoras. Jewelry may include necklaces, bracelets, and earrings. At Burke's Boutique, we target women who are 18 to 40 years of age with mid-range income. Since customers of different age groups have different needs and wants, we discuss shopping habits of different generations. Generation Z, those aged 18 to 24 years old, spend the greatest percentage of their income online, about 9%. But Generation Z has far less money to spend compared to older generations and spends less money overall online than any other generation except those older than 65. A recent study suggested that Generation Z is not as impulsive as most people believe. College Limb stated 68% of 18 to 25 year olds would much rather shop in stores than online for apparel and shoes, suggesting that they like to touch, feel, and try on a product before buying. While 68% prefer to shop in stores, they're using the web for gathering information, with 66% using the web to browse and compare prices. Only 23% shop from a tablet or a smartphone. The study found that 66% like to think about their purchase before buying. We also learned that 56% of Generation Z pay for most of their purchases with debit card versus cash. Our next target is millennials, those age 18 to 34 years old. Millennials are consumers aged 13 to 24 that remain the key age of demographic for online commerce, spending more money online in a given year than any other age group. These consumers spend about 2,000 annually on e-commerce, despite having lower incomes than older adults. 
Millennials spend most of their time online using social media apps such as Facebook or Snapchat to communicate or shop online. According to PFS Web, 79% of Millennials said that mobile usage introduced them to a new brand and 54% said that shopping apps made it easier to shop online. Millennials love to use their smartphones, but they actually prefer shopping online with a desktop or laptop because the checkout process is much easier when entering contact and payment information. Our next and last generation we're targeting are the Gen X shoppers. Older adults, particularly Gen X shoppers, need to be taken into account because of their large numbers and higher incomes. Those aged 35 to 44 are overrepresented in the online shopper population, and they spend about $1,930 annually online, just $70 less than the millennial cohort. Due to Generation X higher disposable incomes, they have established buying patterns and their time online has increased. Since Bird's Boutique targets mid-range income consumers, we have to understand our consumers' social class and income. According to Solomon, people who belong to the same social class are approximately equal in terms of income and social standing in the community. They work in roughly similar occupations and they tend to have similar tastes in music, clothing, leisure activities, and art. They also tend to socialize with one another and they share many ideas and values regarding the way they should live. Once we attract our specified generation, it will be easy to become known. Our consumers are more than likely associated with others that share the same interests. Most of our consumers are working individuals or in colleges. Our product can assist with day-to-day -day work or school attire. We have a variety of high-end products that require variation of income. Income targeting will allow us to target the top 10% of households in high value. High cost campaigns to ensure that top converting keywords with high commercial intent receive a large chunk of your overall budget exclude low-income households from all campaign, campaigns, and adjust bids within top of funnel search campaigns and concentrate budget on high income searches without dampening search volume. Burke's Boutique is located in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. We will be able to adjust our prices according to the cost of living and geographical area grouped by income. The decision-making process. It, our decision-making process is habitual. The habitual decision-making consumer requires Minimal search, minimal search and evaluation of alternatives before purchasing. A habitual decision is considered a straight rebuy of a product. It is also behavioral and automatic because the decision is more of a routine. When our consumers are looking for a specific material, pattern, or style of clothing, they have boutiques in mind. Boutiques offer valued clothing and accessories, so the decision is often based on habit. In order for us to influence the stimuli, we will make our consumers feel special, offer a great deal of information, involve our customers in our decisions, make realistic promises, and provide a high level of service. Problem recognition. Burke's Boutique has to ensure our customers are in the frame of mind where they want boutique clothing. Or if our consumers begin to compare our product to other boutiques, we have to ensure our customers desire Burke's Boutique. In order for us to create a desire, we will model our product. We will create a website in addition to posting pictures daily on our social media sites modeling our new inventory. Our sales representatives will model all of our new items, so customers will want to come in when they see something they like. Customers will desire our products when they actually see the way it fits. They will also want to come in when they see the new stylish clothes we have to offer. We will also promote giveaways. A giveaway may include a gift card to the store or jewelry. Our customers will have to part participate in a drawing by liking and sharing our posts on social media to win the giveaway. This will promote business to others on social media as well. Consumers can search for Burt's, Burt's Boutique in several ways. Visit our store, our website, Facebook, Instagram, phone, or via email. We're located in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and our website is burtsboutique.com. Our name on Facebook and Instagram is Burt's Boutique Clothing and Accessories. Customers may call our store for any questions or email our customer support at support at burksboutique.com. Our customers typically search for information when they have questions. The biggest concern is our return and exchange policy, which is listed on our website. Customers also search for information when they are comparing prices and products to other boutiques. At Burks Boutique, we offer competitive prices with exclusive prints and styles. The brands we sell are also favored. Our exceptional customer service and thorough knowledge of our product will encourage customers to return to our store. The evaluation alternatives. 
Our website helps consumers filter and organize online information so that they can identify and evaluate brand alternatives more efficiently. Our consumers may also evaluate size alternatives. At Burke's Boutique, we offer sizes small to large, whereas some boutiques offer plus sizes. The decision rule our target market is likely to employ is compensatory rules. Our consumers will evaluate each brand in terms of relevant attribute and then select the brand with the highest weighted score. We know the brands we offer have the largest number of positive attributes because of the feedback we receive. Our brands provide high quality material. Our clothes fit nicely, never tear or rip, and they last. The material is essential as clothes is the majority of our revenue. We'll increase the chances that our product will be selected by promoting our reviews. We promote our customer reviews on our website and social media pages. Most of our customers purchase our product via cash or card in the store. On our website, customers may pay via credit card, debit card, or payment service PayPal. We recommend using PayPal as it offers an extra layer of security. Payment services can reduce the number of places where hackers can find your information. We offer free shipping online and in-store for orders that exceed $50. Post-purchase evaluation. To ensure that our purchaser is satisfied with our product, we will follow up with the customer a week after purchase. Since we value our customer relationships, we have all of our customers saved in our system with their preferred contact methods. We will call, text, or email our customer to follow up if the product they purchased met their expectation. If our purchaser is dissatisfied, we will make it right. We will listen, repeat back what our customers say to ensure we're on the same page, thank them for bringing the issue to our attention, explain the steps we'll take to solve the problem, and ensure them the case is our priority. If an item is broken, stained, torn, or defective for any reason, we will exchange the item at no charge. If the item is no longer available, we will refund the customer and offer a discount for their next order to apologize for inconvenience. To reduce the likelihood of problems, we will examine and monitor all items before purchases. If the problem is reoccurring, we will inform our manufacturers and providers. Post-purchase behavior. We want our purchasers to be happy after they purchase something, as we expect our clothing and accessories to meet all expectations. We want our purchasers to tag us on social media when they are wearing our products, so we know our items are providing quality. We also want our customers to feel confident in the style they choose with us, and we look forward to seeing our customers promoted. We want, to avoid, we want to avoid dissatisfied customers as much as we can. We encourage customer reviews so we know how well or bad we are doing. We will be proactive with negative, negative reviews by assessing, acknowledging, and providing resolution immediately. We value feedback as it will help our company grow. A positive reputation is one of the most powerful characteristics we can establish. Our priority is for our customers to enjoy their shopping experience from start to finish with Berks Boutique. Thank you for listening.